everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's gonna be the last declutter of 2021. This is gonna be my lip declutter. I'm actually wearing one of the lippies that survived my declutter. I will put some details down in the description box. I didn't feel like doing my makeup today, so I will just link the things that I am wearing down below. And I was feeling like a bold lip and I thought what better like what better look to wear in my lip declutter intro than the boldest lip I own that survived the declutter. So I will put the info down in the description box. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I'm such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, but sometimes we need to declutter a collection and this is part five of my yearly declutter series. But if you wanna see some more declutters, if you wanna see some more makeup content on your timeline, definitely do subscribe because I upload, well, right now every day, but I do upload normally five times a week. I'm just gonna try and do this intro quick and easy because yeah, I just wanna get into me actually decluttering. I'm gonna be decluttering my lip glosses, my lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks. I'm not decluttering my lip liners because I'm actually not getting rid of any right now. I am getting rid of an incredible amount of lipsticks because I am moving. I'm in the process of moving. When this video is going up, I might already have moved to be honest because this is gonna be the last video in my declutter series. I will leave the whole playlist down below if you wanna see more declutters like eyeshadow palettes and bronzers and all that. It's already filmed, it's already up. So if you're interested in that, I will leave it down below because yeah, it's already up, but I'm gonna be extra ruthless this year because I cannot bring everything because we are moving abroad and we are not moving by car or by boat, we're moving by airplane, so I, I can't bring everything. So that is why I'm being extra ruthless. Lip products that are used, I am gonna be throwing away, they're old, I'm gonna be throwing them away. I have a couple of lip products that are maybe only swashed or used once, then I will just clean them up and I will give them to friends and family around me. If there's something that's unused, I either donate them or I put them in giveaways, but probably my giveaways are already done as you're, as you're seeing this. Listen, this whole year, this whole like Vlogmas thing is a little bit crazy this year, but I do not have time to send out uh, in the mail any lipsticks. I'm not selling any of my decluttered makeup. I'm not giving away any of my decluttered makeup. Sending stuff abroad, I'm in Sweden as I'm filming this, costs so much money. I don't have the money to be sending out boxes of makeup. I'm sorry, it would cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars if I were to send out all of the decluttered makeup. So please don't ask me for my old makeup. I will not be sending out any of my old makeup. Also, I don't have time for it because I'm in the process of moving. But yeah, let's get into the clutter. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me your thoughts down below and let's get this show on the road. Okie dokie, welcome to the long hair. Welcome to my lipstick declutter. You know what? Um, this is probably gonna be a long one because there is a lot to go through. This is not even half of it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be ruthless though because listen, Listen, I'm moving. I cannot keep all of this. It is impossible. This is the insert, like this big one, is the insert that I have in my drawer for um, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip stains, like more creamy things. And I have another one with liquid lipsticks. So we're gonna start with this one. You know what we're actually gonna start with? Let's start with this one. This one contains some of my newer lipsticks. Some of the things that I have very recently uh, reviewed and if you are missing something in any of my declutter videos if you missed anything in any of my declutter videos it's probably because either i missed it because there's a lot of things going on here or i hadn't reviewed it or hauled it yet and it's just somewhere around here these videos are pre-filmed i think i've said this so i have these uh, lipsticks from sigma again I am gonna declutter some things that I don't dislike simply because I can't use everything. So I am actually gonna declutter these Disney uh, Sigma ones, I'm gonna declutter these uh, BH Cosmetics Dosha Cat ones, and I am gonna declutter these, look look at how this is separated already. I'm not the biggest fan of these lip tints by Colourpop, I didn't think that they were amazing. So I am gonna declutter all of these simply because I can't. This one I really love. This is a new one. This is the Business Casual Luster Glass Lipstick by uh, MAC. It is a really good formula. I'm keeping that to the side. I also really love, I think I have another one of these here. Maybe not. It's somewhere here. These lip oils by Colourpop. I'm probably going to keep all the lip oils from Colourpop. This Hangover Pillow Balm. This is the Banana Kiss one from Too Faced. Absolutely amazing. We are keeping it. We're also keeping this marker from Kiko. These are really good if you want to do like inverted 
like inverted uh, ombre lips. They're so good. I also, oop, I also really love these new lipsticks by Linda Halberg. These are incredibly new to my collection. This one is in Dusty Pink. I really like this formula a lot. So I am gonna keep these because uh, I'm like not done, like not done enjoying them. Let's just put it like that. Something I am going to declutter though, and oh my god, there are cat hairs here. I have the entire collection of the fresh lip tints. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't like this formula. I don't think this is a good formula. It's very silicone-y. It's very smeary. It doesn't stay on the lips. It literally, this, this formula treats my lips like an escape room. Like it just wants to get away from my lips. Let's save. Let's put the little save basket here, shall we? If you're wondering, there's also a fifth one of this, and this uh, that one is in my purse, so we are definitely keeping that one. Let's do this one afterwards, because this is a, a box of like my high-end, more luxury lipsticks, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna save all of these. To be fair, these are just a bunch of lipsticks that I'm saving. This is the Creamy Lipstick by Huda Beauty in the Rasha. Really love this formula, definitely keeping it. I have two Lancome here. These are, maybe, I don't know if I talk about these enough. This is the uh, Mademoiselle Shine and the Mademoiselle Balm. Uh, they are both orange. This is a bit more sheer. Maybe I can show you like sheer-ish <laughs> Let's go with sheer-ish shall we and this one is also orange, but uh, It is just a little bit more pigmented. I think you can see the difference. They're both really nice We're both keeping them. Here's another bomb. That's orange. This is from uh, NARS. This is in Torrid um, Listen, I love orangey bombs. Don't don't come for me. There is a, I think I have two, yeah, I have two of the uh, Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. This is in Velvet Decade, a dark brown one. Let's say keep it. And it is the Velvet Affair, which is the more nudie on me brown. Really nice lipstick, not my absolute favorite, but we are keeping them. I have some, I have a few, let's, let's be honest here. I have a few. Gucci. I'm not gonna say like I'm the absolute biggest Gucci lipstick fan, but enough to have this many <laughs> Enough to have this many. These are the uh, sheer lipstick formulas. I have it in the orange one which is a uh, Louise orange and then this one that is called Lynette Stone. These are also like a sheer more balmy formula um, Very pretty very expensive I really like them. Let's keep them. This is the Wall formula. It's the Painted Veil, uh, which is like a, what would we call this? Like a muted red. It is slightly sheer, but not as shiny and balmy. It's just a more sheer formula. It's really, really pretty. And then I have three of the satins. I don't have any of the, um, I don't have any of the mattes. Although I'm gonna be honest, one of this, yeah, one of this is a glitter. I mean, this is pretty, but I don't love this glitter formula. Uh, but I'm still gonna keep it because it's a Gucci lipstick. Don't come for me. But I don't love the glitter formula as much as I love the. Uh, look at this one, this satin formula. This is in. This is, this color name is amazing. This is the girl from Paris. This is a limited edition, like orangey brown. And this one is in a royal scandal. It's like a taupey color. This is so pretty. This is the satin. Ugh. I, I want to wear this now. <sighs> love these. Love these. Love them. Love them. I have a couple of Charlotte Tilbury as well. Uh, I have one more. But I don't know where it is right now, but that one I don't love, so I'm gonna declutter that formula. I have one of these, this is also, this is in Pillow Talk, it's also this like more balmy formula. I really do like this this kind of a formula. This is a, a little thicker in the formula, but it's really nice. I'm gonna keep it. I have another one of these. I wonder what that one is. I have another one of these slim ones in the... Oh, here it is. It's even here. Oh my god. Have you been saying that, seeing that like this entire time? But this is an uh, uh, one of my favorite colors, which is Walk of No Shame. Love this like muted red. And I have the Walk of No Shame in the matte formula as well. This one. I really love this formula. I'm not going to be able to swatch all the lippies like this, but this is a great formula. And this 
remember this color. This is the reason why I'm gonna get rid of some of my other red lipsticks because that is pretty much one of my favorites. This is in Stone Gross. This is the more creamy version. Keeping that as well. Really love these lipsticks. There's a reason why these are on this side because these are the ones I reach for a lot. And this isn't super fabulous. It's also a matte one. It's one of the newer colors. Another favorite formula of mine is the Natasha Denona ones. I have a couple of like limited edition packaging because the the original packaging is this white one. But I have a couple of these like limited edition ones. I have the um, the nude collection was the Andrea and Maria. So the Maria is a very, very nude one, more peachy. And then the Maria one is a little bit more on the yellowy nude side, which is something that I really like because I have another one of these yellowy nude ones was a Charlotte, also a bit more yellowy nude. And then from the original one, this is probably my most used and my favorite nude color on me. And this is Noah. It's just a beautiful nude color. I, this is my most worn nude lipstick uh, this past like year, let's say. This is Athena. I don't know if this was ever available in the US. This was a Europe exclusive color for quite some time. And this one is in Amorosa, which was the one that came out this, um, what's it called? Valentine's. So I'm keeping all of these because these colors, like the more high-end ones, I really use them, I really love them, so we're keeping them. But I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is the NYX uh, in Exotic because it is a pretty similar color to this one, but I will say I do prefer the Charlotte Tilbury over this one. I'm also gonna get rid of the Juvia's Place lip glosses that are the, the pigment, the opaque formula, because I don't use lip glosses like that. It's not my, it's not my preferred formula. If I'm gonna use lip glosses, I want them to be uh, not opaque. I, I don't like a fully opaque gloss. It's not my preferred formula. These ones though, that are sheer, I really like. I am probably gonna get rid of these ones as well because I don't use them, but I really like these two because these are the sheer lip gloss but they still have a color. These are beautiful. We are definitely saving them. Let's actually put these to the side and I can put the ones I keep here instead. Love the Luxe lip oils. I'm keeping all of the Luxe lip oils because I really love them. I also love the Sigma lip oils. Here are even more Luxe lip oils by Colourpop. Really love this formula. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them. Wait, maybe some of these are Luxe lip glosses. Yeah, this is gloss. Is this gloss too? Yeah. Why did I say that? I don't even like the Luxe lip glosses. Let's get let's get rid of those. These Juvia's Place uh, lip glosses I don't like as much as I like the other ones. So I'm gonna get rid of those as well. These LH Cosmetics uh, Infinity glosses are new and they're really good, so we are keeping them. Love the Natasha Denona Lip Foria. This formula wasn't my favorite. So these are the lifted glosses by Maybelline. They're nice, but they're not my favorite, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Uh, I have some Buxom Glam Light. I have more Sigma. I have a Pixie. None of these are like my favorite ones, so I'm actually, there's a couple here. I'm just quickly going through. This is a matte lipstick by Kiko. It doesn't wear that good. So I'm actually gonna get rid of some of these. Uh, I am gonna save. There are some like, yeah, these are more opaque glosses. Again, I don't love them, but I will save the nudie one because it is a nice formula and maybe I will like it and then it could be nice to have one. So yeah, I'm gonna go through these a little quick, more quickly. This is a beautiful gloss. This is more pigmented, but it's not 100% opaque. This is actually by Beauty Bay. This is, it is pigmented, but still like, it's not too goopy. I actually really like this one and it's a good color. So this one again, I'm gonna keep. I love the Shine Theory glosses by Nabla, but I don't need to keep all of them. So let's keep, Hmm, let's keep two. I really like these two colors. Uh, it is in District and Toxic Love. So let's, oh, let's keep those and let's get rid of some because I can't, I can't be keeping all of it. More Sigma lip oils, I really love it. And I love this Wet Cherry Gloss by Lime Crime. I just think that this like orangey, can you see that it is orange, but still sheer? Oh my God. I love this color so much. I also really love the So Juicy glosses by Colourpop, but I can't be keeping all of them. Like, 
can't keep all of these. It's impossible. This one is really nice. These have a minty smell, but these from this Meguiar have a bubblegum smell. So I'm gonna keep one of the bubblegum ones because I really like them. This like purpley one is new in my collection. Really wanna keep it, I really like it. This big slice used to be my red lip gloss of choice, but I actually used the Juvian's one more, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna keep these two colors. It's a bit rare that I don't keep the orange, but I think I like the one from Lime Crime more because it isn't, doesn't have shimmer. So I'm gonna keep these two. Or is it beach? Okay, maybe maybe I'll say beach wood instead. Because this one is a really nice color. And this, it's called In the Cut. Like these colors are so nice. And I really like this formula. Like they're like sheer, but like still a tint. Do you see that? It's so pretty. And the beech wood is really nice as well. So I'm gonna keep these two. I don't even know if these are available anymore, but like this is a formula that I reach for. Like, yeah, I really like those. I really like the idea of these chubby crayons that Colourpop did with Animal Crossing because all of them are named after a fruit. This is Peach Surprise and it does smell like peach, but I, this isn't my favorite formula. I still don't think that they have perfected this formula. So I am going to declutter it. This is something that it also smells really good. It smells of apple. This is like a clear gloss from Colourpop. I think I'm going to I think this is going to be the clear gloss that I keep because it smells of green apples and I do love green apples. Let me switch this one around. Huh? Let me switch this one around and I can put the ones I keep on the side here. There are two glosses here from uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles. These look exactly the same on the lips. So I'm going to save the one that doesn't have sparkles and going to get rid of the other one. These like lip tints by Odin's Eye. These like I love this formula so much, but I don't need to keep all six colors. So let me figure out which ones I want to keep. This is little jasmine. This is like more neutral one. This I want to keep. And also this one. Is it this one that's water lily that's a bit orange? No, this is not the orangey one. Is it this one then? I don't remember which one is the orange one. Oh no, this one is red. I don't want to keep the red one. Is it sweet tulip? It could be this one that looks a little bit more orange on the lips. I think so. Yeah, this is a little bit more red molly. Um, this is also a bit dark. Let me see if I can swatch these two. Yeah, this looks a little bit more on the orangey side. Or maybe this one that's a little bit more... That's a really pretty color though. But I think I'm gonna save this one that's Sweet Tulip and we're gonna get rid of the Water Lily one. These ones I really like by Juvia's Place. These are their uh, colored bombs. You can see I've used quite a lot of this one. It's the Peppermint one. Um, and this is the one that's an orangey one. This formula is really nice. You can see it's like a colored bomb with some... This one smells of caramel. Yeah, and it smells of caramel. I really, really like this one. So definitely keeping both of those. Uh, here's another one of the Sigma oils. Let's keep that one. I have some uh, Fenty glosses. This is the cream formula in Honey Waffles. Again, this is one of those super high opaque glosses and that is not my preferred formula. So I'm actually gonna declutter this one and I'm gonna save the original. This is the New Drop Dew Stick from, uh, I think it's Holika Holika, yeah. This is a very balmy but still opaque orange lipstick. It's not my absolute favorite, so I'm actually gonna declutter that one. Ooh, I love these glosses by Lethal Cosmetics. It is a Nova and Paradox. So beautiful. They have no like shimmer and they are like not 100% opaque. They have a little bit of sheerness to them. Like you can see they're a little bit more sheer. They're stunning on the lips. Definitely, definitely keeping them. This one is from Alien Cosmetics. I'm gonna get rid of that one. The Sensei one is really nice, but I'm not gonna keep it because it has a color that I don't use that often. And when I do, I reach for the Juvia's Place ones. This one is an Apricot Dream from Ofra. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have two of these. I've actually bought these in Japan. They're really nice. They have like a core and then they're clear. They're really nice, but I haven't reached for them for a really long time. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these because they are a, a, like a product that has been in my collection for a bit. So let me get rid of those. This one from Rare, I don't like this one. It smells and tastes like soap. And I also don't like this packaging. Don't like that it like, yeah, 
I don't love it. Let's let's get rid of that one. I really like these as well from Juvia's Place. The uh, these are pretty clear. Like this is a clear like liquid balm. I've used these quite a lot. They smell amazing. So we're gonna keep that. Another one of these Animal Crossing ones. Oh, one more from the Juvia's Place one. Although this color I don't use that much. It's more like a berry. Maybe not keep that one, because I use the other ones more than I use that one. Let's get rid of some buxom. I don't reach for buxom that much, so I also have some... Uh, I have a buxom lipstick here. This is not the red I reach for, so let's be honest and get rid of some of these. Uh, more buxom. This from Kasha. It's one of those sheer lipsticks. It's nice, but I don't reach for this one over the other ones I have. Really like these ones. I really, really like these from Nabla, but I don't need to keep all. So I think I'm going to keep... Mm, I'm gonna keep the two more nudie colors because those are the ones I reach for the most. I used to reach for the red ones, but now I have the Walk of No Shame and I like those one more. These are fully opaque, but they just look like a really high, like they look like a satin lipstick on the lips. They're so comfortable and nice. It's it's a formula I really love. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Balm. This also smells of soap, but it doesn't taste of soap. I really love it. This one I've never used. This is the Lolly Gloss in Passion Nut. The, oh my god, there's actually not the name of the brand on here. That's very unusual. This is from... Uh, what are they called? It's the brand that did the Break the Rules palette. I've never gotten around to try it, so I'm actually going to give this one away. There's no need to, for me to be hoarding products. These are two NYX suede lipsticks. This one is in Munchies. It is a cool tone. Uh, brown and this one is in moonwalk. It is like an almost gray. These are very unusual colors I think I'm gonna save the one that's munch Wait, 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 wait. Is this the same color as the one I have in? Gucci wait 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 remember how I said I wanted to use this one more the um, the one that's a royal scandal and now I feel like I, I'm not gonna keep the dark one But I feel like this one is the same color It's just it's a little different, but it's very similar. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one I don't need more uh, Mini liquid lipsticks from we makeup. I don't wear that much liquid lipsticks I'm only gonna save a few if I'm gonna be honest this is a red orange from Morphe. I don't use much Morphe. Let's get rid of that one. This was a shimmery color in the Fruit Explosion collection, the watermelon shimmery formula. I didn't love it on my lips, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a color that sometimes I want something like this, but I haven't worn this since my last declutter, so let's be honest with ourselves. More mini uh, liquid lipsticks from We Makeup. Again, I don't wear liquid lipsticks that much. Uh, some of these I am, if they're unused, I'm gonna give them away. This is a, a Barbie and Colourpop lipstick in pink. Oh my god, I so rarely use pink. Let me actually be honest with myself and get rid of that one. This is one of the best finds of 2021. This is the Lancome L'Absolu Rouge in Love Rendezvous. It's like a bricky orange. This is a... It's like a comfort matte formula. It is absolutely stunning. I love this color on. Definitely keeping it. The Glossier Cache. Did I love this one? Not really. It's another one of those glossy lipsticks but you can see it doesn't really go on smoothly it's a little bit thick on the lips I don't love this formula I don't love this formula here's another lipstick that I thought I was gonna get more use out of but I did not this one I love this formula but I don't love this color this is the born to shine lip stylo like this color is not my preferred color but this formula is beautiful though I'm gonna be honest with you this is the Milani lipstick never used I'm gonna give this away never used this is so great this needs to be with my high-end lipstick so that I can use it more this is from Vive in 90s so beautiful so beautiful I'm gonna put this with my high-end lipstick so I can use it a bit more okay we have some glosses who some glosses from Tower 28 these are really nice. I'm only gonna use... I'm gonna save one. I'll save this one in cashew. It's like a warm brown. 
don't need to save all of these. Like, it's stupid. And then, who we have glosses from We Makeup. The We Makeup glosses are really, really nice. I'm gonna save this one that's the lightest one. It's a little bit milky, like a milky pinky mauve. It's in number 02. I don't need this many glosses, but I'm gonna be honest, the We Makeup formula in lip glosses, it's really nice. It's a nice formula, definitely recommend it. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can just uh, get this to be, I don't know, glosses, sheer lipsticks, lip oils, balms, I don't know. We'll, we'll, let, let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. And I also have my more high-end lipsticks here. Oh, I probably am gonna put the uh, Lancome one in here as well. I'm gonna organize this a bit better uh, because I know whew, that I am gonna get rid of quite a lot of my liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Uh, let's get into the liquid lipsticks. Okay, so this is my liquid lipstick space. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of things here like my Colourpop ones and the Belegant ones, they are just old, it, they're old. These are colors I love, but they're old, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Same with the Gerard Cosmetics. I really do like the Gerard Cosmetics formula. I'm gonna keep a couple that's my absolute favorites, like Bear It All in 1995, and I also like the Madison Avenue, and where is... There's one that's called Ecstasy that I really, really love as well. Wait, here it is, Ecstasy. Let me keep that one as well. Like these are colors that I really love. This is Madison Avenue, it's like a terracotta. Uh, and then there is Bury It All. It's more of a nudie one on me. It's like a, like a peachy beige. And then we have this one that is 1995. It is like a mauvey, bricky brown, like a darker nude on me. And then we have Ecstasy that is like a purpley mauve on me. So I'm gonna keep those two four colors because those are a bit more unique, not unique maybe per se, but colors that I uh, enjoy, that I actually would reach for. I have two of the liquid lipsticks from Linda Halbei. I have the red orange. These are pretty new and these are great. And then it is the Deep Nougat. Both of these are really good. This is like a cool tone, darker beige on me. I'm gonna keep both of them. I have one of the Uden's Eye, um, and this is this is beautiful. This is the liquid, uh, the one that dries down. It is in ripe papaya. I'm keeping that one. I didn't love the about face formula. Uh, I love the color, but the formula wasn't perfect. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I love. Okay, I love the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula, but I have not reached for a single one of these for so long. I think I'm gonna get rid of all of them. I love the, let me show you. I love the knock on wood so much that I bought a backup because this is almost out, but they have changed the color. This is the original knock on wood and this is the new one. You can see the black cap. It is, um, I don't know if you can see, but they changed the undertone. It is not, it is a bit more, do you see? It's a bit more peachy, peachy now, and this was a bit more on the yellowy neutral brown. It is not the same. Uh, I'm actually gonna save the old one and I'm gonna get rid of the new one. And it's a shame, I love Knock On Wood. I, I don't love the new one, they changed it. They changed it and not, not for the better. Let's just put it like that. I have so many so many of the Ofra liquid lipsticks and I first of all I don't use that much liquid lipsticks and I am taking a break from Ofra some of these are collabs with friends of mine but you know what I think I'm just gonna declutter all of these uh, because I'm having a break from Ofra so I am gonna declutter all my lip products from Ofra because I am overwhelmed with lip products and I'm just a little 
sad with Ofra. This is a YSL liquid lipstick. This is in oh, 17, whatever that means. This is a pretty vibrant coral and it's a pretty nice applicator, pretty nice formula. I haven't worn this in a bit, but you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this one because it is a little bit unique at least. The color drain in a uh, honey mustard, it's too yellow. Listen, this is the kind of yellow I want because this is a melt golden. I love a yellow tone lipstick. I actually wore this quite recently. You can see that this is like a beige mustard, but the one from Color Drain, I thought it was gonna be this color, but it's too yellow. Like, do you see the difference? Like, this is a yellowy nude and this is yellow. Like, you see the difference of how this is more wearable. So I'm gonna get rid of the color drain one. It's just not a good color, according to me. The lip lingerie and the, okay, Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I, I don't love the formula. These are old, I'm gonna get rid of them. These are also old. These are from Sleek. I'm also gonna get rid of those. I don't think the formula of these are created equal. Uh, this one is in I'm a Cancer and this one is in di, 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 Gratitude. I didn't think the Gratitude one wore very good uh, on the lips. Uh, I like the color of the Gratitude more than I like the I'm a Cancer, but I didn't think that the this one wore as good as this one. I am gonna keep these and try them out a little bit more because I want to make sure that I feel the way I feel about them, but they're not my favorite. But I'm keeping them because I I need to figure them out better. These are some Juvia's Place ones, and I'm gonna be honest, I never reach for these. I love Juvia's Place, but I never reach for these, ever. This is a formula I love. This is the Lip Tonic by uh, Kaleidos. This is absolutely an amazing formula. One of these, I don't remember if it was this one. It could have been this one. This is in Immersion. I think it was this one. I wore to my wedding. These are watery and almost cooling and semi-opaque and they wear so wonderful. Uh, I love this formula, so I'm gonna keep it. I, I wanna wear it more, if I'm gonna be honest. I want to wear it more. This one I never reach for, it's from Glam Light. Uh, this one I really like from Rare Beauty. It's the, the brave one, right? The one that everyone has, the terracotta nude. It's really nice. Oh, I just remembered that I don't have the lip clays by Kaleidos here. They are in a different space, but I am keeping those. I just don't have them here in front of me. These are the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ashton and Starfish. These are pretty old. I'm gonna get rid of them. I have a couple of wee makeup ones. These are uh, really nice liquid lipsticks but I'm only gonna save the ones that are like unique colors in my collection so these more like nudie nudie ones I'm actually uh, gonna get rid of all of them I think yeah I think I'm gonna get rid of all of them and I'm gonna save the two orangey ones and the green one the green one is really cool it's always nice to have like one like green lippy for when you're feeling some kind of way so this is mine. This is in number uh, 91. It's a, it's a cool army green liquid lipstick that dries down. So yeah, can you tell I didn't save that many? Like it's only these. How crazy is that? Wow, that is crazy. Let me put my uh, lipsticks in here. Oh, here's another Lux lip oil. That's not supposed to be here. And this one neither, oopsie. Okay, I'm pretty proud of how this one is looking. Let's get into some other lippies because there is definitely more. These are things that have just been on the side a bit. These are some that I've actually put in my like worst makeup of 2021. This is the other uh, Charlotte Tilbury one I was talking about. This is the Happy Kiss formula. I don't like it at all. Definitely, definitely getting rid of this. I'm, I'm putting it back in the, ba uh, the, the bad bin. <laughs> 
is going back in the bad bin. I have a couple of things here that I, I'm gonna declutter. Like, I, I, I don't reach for these things. This one is so good, but unfortunately this whole brand, the Play by Glossier, got discontinued, which is a, a shame. I really like some of these lippy sticks as well, but do I really reach for them is the question. Maybe I'll keep like one or two of these. Let me let me have a peek at the at the ColourPop ones. This is more pinky. I don't usually go for that. This is the Aquarius one. This is very, very old. Uh, these seem a little newer. This is in Sure Thing. That's, that's a really nice color. Have I reached for it? Nope. <laughs> this is in Fab. Um, I mean, that's nice. Will I reach for it? Nope. And this is in, this is in Like Magic. I mean, I haven't reached for these. Like, stop it, Angie, stop it. These are the lipsticks from Odin's Eye. I think I'm gonna keep all of these because I wanna see if they come out with more colors. So these I'm saving, not only because I like the formula, there are uh, matte ones. Uh, these are the creamy ones, there are the pinker packaging, and then we have the matte ones that have the more brownie packaging. I'm saving these because I want to see if they come out with more colors, and because I haven't, like, I'm not tired with this formula yet. It did come out this year as well, I think, so these, I'm, I'm gonna save these. These I'm gonna get rid of, these are mini liquid lipsticks from We Makeup. I never got to these, so I am gonna declutter them. Uh, we have some Ofra lip glosses. These. I think I'm gonna get rid of them, even though these are um, these are my friend Samantha March's collab. I'm keeping the other things that she did with Ofra. I'm not keeping the lippies because I can't, like, I can't, I can't. Uh, I just don't want to use Ofra, and these are probably gonna be expired before I get to them. Still love Samantha though. I'm just getting rid of these lip products. I, I did keep the blush and the bronzer though. This is the Mac Star Trek collection. This I am keeping for just for for keepsake because I love that Mac did a collaboration with Star Trek. Uh, I really hope that we get to see more things like this in the future. Am I wearing this? No, <laughs> but I'm keeping it. I keep it because I think it's, it's, it's nice. These are uh, more uh, lip products by Kaleidos. Do I need to use and save all of these? Maybe I'll just save the blue one because it is a little bit different. Uh, I like this formula, but again, I don't need to be keeping too many products. This is a blue to purple shimmer, and it really like gives a very cool effect on the lips, and it's a little bit more different. So I'm gonna keep uh, these two. I have some products here from Kiko. I know I liked some of these, but not all of them. Yeah, this is the one that was a little bit more on the a pigmented side that I didn't love. This is the Hydra Lip Shiny Stylo. It's nice, but not my favorite. Then we have this Glossy Dream Sheer Lipstick. Is this the one that was a little bit more sheer then? Um, yeah, this is a little bit more on the sheer side. That's really nice. Let's keep that one from Kiko. And this is the one that's the Jelly Stylo. Uh, I think this also was yeah, a little bit more on the sheer side. It's like this really nice chocolatey brown. So I'm keeping uh, these four products. Now, oh my God, look, look, look at this. Look at all these like compartment things. <laughs> now we have bullet lipsticks because I have most of my bullet lipsticks in a separate place. So that's gonna be the finished, the, the, the last one. I told you, there's a lot of lip products. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the last batch of items. I promise. <laughs> I promise. I have had a bad habit of saving. If I have a favorite formula, I save everything in that favorite formula. And I'm going to try and not do that this time. Uh, so we're just going to start 
with this one here. Here is the shiny lip styler from Kiko in the color that I love. It's like a pinky nude on me. It's in number 01. I don't even know what that means, but we're keeping it. I really love this one. Should I just put it back? No, wait. I'll, I'll put it on in the side here if I'm keeping it. This one is really nice, but I just haven't used it since last time I did my uh, declutter. This is from Isadora. This is in Toasted Cocoa. Um, so we're getting rid of that one. This is in... Uh, this is from Kiko Milano. This is their like matte lipstick. It's really pretty, but I don't reach for this one. Uh, we have these from Nabla. This is a nice formula. I was hoping they were going to come up with more colors in this. That's why I saved all three, but it doesn't seem like they're doing that. So I'm just going to save this one. Or am I even going to save like... No, stop it, Angie. Stop it. We're getting rid of it. Like, listen, you l I like it, but I don't love it enough to keep using it. Let's just put it like that. These We Makeup Lipsticks. This is totally unused. This is in Humil. Humil? I am going to save a couple of these because I really, really love this formula. This is the Borgese. Borgese? Borgese. I don't know. This is an Italian indie brand. I'm gonna save a couple of these because I think they're so beautiful. This is unused. I'm gonna give away, but I'm gonna save the Humile one. And I love a couple of these colors. Uh, like, really love. I think it's the 05? Or is it the... No, it's the 06 or 08. Now I'm, like, confused. I think it's this one, right? 09. Yeah, this is the one that I really love. I love this color. So we are saving that one. There's a couple of these that are... Should I just... I don't know which ones I'm saving. That's a really different color. Oh, okay. What am I saving? Should I just... I am going to save this one, the Humil one. This one is... this. This formula is beautiful. It is fully opaque. This is the one I'm saving in number 09. This one is it's it's like a berry. This is the kind of color that Ricardo likes though. Maybe I'll save this one for him because it's a, like a berry color. But like some of these, like I'm not going to be wearing a color like this a lot. Even though I wish I was the person that brought something like this out. I'm not. I wish I was. I really do. This one is pretty though. Stop it. Stop it, Angie. You need to be smart. It's pretty, but am I going to wear it? No. I love colors like this, though, but I need to be smart. I really do. That is a really pretty color though. Maybe I'll save this one or do I really want to save this one instead? Which is the 05. That is a... Listen, I'll save this one as well. The 05. See? There we go. I'll save a couple of the colors and then I'll just... This one is so pretty though. Wait, let me swatch this one as well. Is this a color that I want to keep? This is in number 20. Look at how beautiful that color is. It's like a... It's like a light coral. Am I gonna reach for a color like that? Probably not, but that is a stunning color, number 20. Okay, this is a formula that I really love as well, but I don't need to save all of them. The Hot IRL and I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because it has some shimmer in it. It's the Shot of Sun, so maybe I don't need to keep that one. This one that is a little bit plumpy, this is so similar. I should really be doing another one of those like dupe videos. Um, this one seems like it needs to be cleaned, but that is a stunning color. Okay, I'm saving three. I got rid of one. I feel I feel good about that. Listen, don't come for me. I'm, do <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. I really love these shiny sheer lipsticks by Fenty. You could see orangey corals is really a color that I love. This is Tang Thang. And this is in, I think it's milk and cocoa, cookies and cocoa. This is one of those like sheer brown colors. It is really pretty. This is a nice formula. Let me keep those two. These are the Sigma lipsticks. 
I have it in the red one and the Deja Vu one. I think I'm gonna save this Deja Vu. It's a really nice color and a really nice formula, but maybe I don't need to save all of them. Or do I even reach for these? Listen. You don't need to save it just because, Angie. These, I think, have gone old. Like, I don't understand. Like, they look so weird. They're from Lethal Cosmetics. I really like this Quest color, but it looks so suspicious. I'm gonna get rid of those. Here's another one of these, like, MAC lipsticks. I think I only have one left of the Star Wars, uh, Star Trek collection. So I'm gonna save this again. It's, it's a keepsake. Let me live. Let me live. Do I only have... No, I have four. I have four of the Lux lipsticks from Colourpop. This is the Cruella one, which is an orangey red. I am gonna get rid of this one though. Then we have Spring Roll. This is a really pretty color, but I never reached for it since my last declutter. These are the only two I'm keeping. It's Mrs. Norris, which is the... What's her name? The collab with the girl, I forgot her name now. Oh, it's here, so Sophia Nygaard. Uh, I, I really love this color. I got this as a gift from a subscriber, actually. I really like it. And this one is discontinued, but this is one of my favorite orange lippies. Like, look at, look at the match. This is check, please. They discontinued it, but I love it, so I'm keeping it. Then we have a couple of more MAC ones. Oh, here's another one of the Star Trek ones. Again, I'm keeping it because I can. You can see this one even has a wax blooming. I'm not using it. I'm just, I'm just keeping it. We have another one of the Luster, the new formula, the Luster Glass. This is in Thanks, it's MAC. I am keeping it. This is the, uh, I think it's called Impulsive, yeah. The Powder Kiss formula. This is great. This is a great, like, super matte light formula with some, like, almost like a powdery, like, silicone feel. It's beautiful. And then we have A Girl Got Needs. Uh, this is a really nice, like, like almost yellowy nude. I really should be using this one more often. It's so beautiful. And in C Sheer, which, which has some wax blooming on it. I think this is the old luster formula. Uh, it's a nice color, uh, but now I have those new ones so I can get rid of this old formula. Now we have the Sephora Lip Stories. This is a great formula and a lot of people are sleeping on this formula. I'm not going to keep all of these because I haven't been reaching for them that much. I use the Labyrinth City not too long ago on my channel, but I'm gonna keep this one because I really really love it uh, We have so okay, so I'm keeping that one What other colors do we have and how unique are they to my collection? Let's look Okay, let's see. This one is very pink. I don't usually reach for colors like that, so I actually get to get rid of that one, even though I love the formula. This one is beautiful. It's like, this is the like their comfort matte formula. Stunning. This one is in Wii, but I don't need to be using, like, saving all of them. Let's put that in the maybe pile. This one is in, I can't, th this packaging is not ideal. Let's just, let's just put it like that. This is in tan lines. This is the first one I got. This is very stunning. Let's keep that one instead of this one. This one and this one. They're beautiful colors, but I don't reach for them that often. But I'm going to keep this because this is the kind of color that my husband loves. So I'm going to keep that one and get rid of this one that's called Spring Break. Then we have three more of the nudie ones. So let's see if we can swatch them next to the one we had and see which one we are supposed to be keeping. That is a very grayish like almost grayish nude. Let's get rid of that one. It's called Love Love. I don't need to have another one of those cool tone ones. This last one is Landing in Shanghai. Ooh, that's really pretty. So this is the matte one and this is the shiny one. Okay, I am gonna keep... I'm gonna keep the matte and the shiny ones and I'm gonna get rid of this one that was super, super light that is called Somewhere in Spain. That is what I'm doing, and I'm keeping these. So now I saved uh, four of these, I think. Yeah, four of these instead of so many. Go me. I have still some of these Gerard Cosmetics ones. This is London Fog, Peachy Keen. 
Mystic Moon. I love Mystic Moon. So maybe I saved the 195. I saved that one in the liquid lipstick. This one is um, between the sheets. I feel like the one that I have been reaching for is the Mystic Moon. It is my favorite um, lipstick color from Gerard. So I'm going to save this one. I really, really love this color. Yeah, and it has a little bit more like it's a little bit darker than the other uh, cool tone ones, so we're gonna keep this one instead because I really do love this one. Okay, these from H&M Beauty, they are so old, like they are so old. I am gonna get rid of Cream Chestnut, uh, In a Nutshell, Love Brunette Ambition. This is such a nice color, but I'm gonna get rid of it. It's old. Here are two limited edition colors and Sandstorm. This is Elan. Beautiful color. Like, look at this beautiful color. And then Sonia, which is more like a cool toned color. It is so stunning. That is so stunning. But you can, like, I have, I have. This one is so stunning. Maybe I'll save this one. I'll save Sonia. That's the one I'm saving. And uh, the other one got to go. These are beautiful. These are from LH Cosmetics. Well, not this one. This one is from By Terry. I haven't used it since last like the clutter. It's gotta go. Love this formula by LH Cosmetics. This one is an Ametrine, which is my favorite color. This is a sheer shiny formula. Well, it's not sheer. It's, you definitely can build this up to a lot of color. It's very hydrating and glossy on the lips. It is so stunning. Love Ametrine. Am I gonna keep all of these colors? This is Cultured, which is a bit of an orangey color. I do love that. Extra is this one that's like a sheer glitter. Maybe I can get rid of that one. I do love this formula, but I don't reach for all, all colors like this one, Bullseye. I don't wear a glossy red lip like that that's uh, opaque. Goldstone, that's very pretty though. Let's save that one. Garnet. Yeah, that's maybe too, like I don't reach for an opaque color like that. Uh, same with this one, I think. I think it's called, yeah, it's called Pop. Beautiful, but I don't reach for colors like that. Pink Opal is stunning. It's just a very light, uh, pinky nude on me. That's pretty. One of my most used ones. And then we have Famous. This is my most used ones, used one lately. I have no space left. This one is like a cool tone brown. Oh, that's, I need to use that again. And then it is the eye dye, which is also very, very poppy. That one would be so pretty. Stop it, Annie. Stop it. Stop it. So yeah, I'm getting rid of some of them and I'm saving the ones that I actually like use uh, the most. I'm putting those back in this one. And I have another MAC lipstick that goes here, so yay, go me. And let me put some of these in here. And then we have this full one of Juvia's Place and Proper Beauty. Um, do I need to keep, listen, I have swatch videos where I'm swatching all of the Proper Beauty lipsticks. Let me actually get these out of the box. And I have swatch videos where I swatch all of the Juvia's Place lipsticks. I've done my review of these. Maybe I can just keep the colors that I truly love. You know, be a bit smart. Let's start with the proper beauty ones because I don't need to use all of them. This is like, I need, I need to be smart. Profits, uh, limitless, like some of these, maybe I don't need to save all of them. Like this one, really dark one, it's called Audacious. I don't think I need to keep that one. And then we have Unstoppable, which is a red. That is nice, but I don't wear red lipsticks that often. Closer is so stunning. Let me put some up here that I'm like thinking about. 
her magic so beautiful um believe it let me swatch some of these and compare them victress is wonderful this one is really really dark it's called fighter i don't usually wear colors like that and when i do it's probably more a liquid lipstick focus yeah i need to swatch some of these and compare Okay, so we have another red here that is called Dream It. I think I can get rid of that one. There is Prime Time and Dynamite. I do love, like there's a couple of red here like uh, Moxie and Prime Time. I think I'm gonna keep these that are a little bit more muted. I think that is more like up my speed of like what I usually wear. I usually go very bold on the eyes and not that bold on the lips. That's why I'm keeping more lips that are like that because that is more like things that I go for, but I'm gonna keep these two. This one that is in Made It is probably my favorite and most used orange lipstick of all time. This is such a wearable orange in Made It. It's just amazing, definitely keeping. I also really love these. This is in Victress and Finesse. These are more nudie on me from this range. This whole range is made more with a person of color with a darker skin tone in mind. So that's why a lot of these shades are a little dark on me, which is of course perfectly fine. I mean, I mean, not all shades need to look amazing on me. Like I'm perfectly fine with pick picking and choosing. This one in Her Magic is such a wonderful, uh, beautiful color. Definitely keeping that. And also this one, I think this, yeah, this is closer. This is like more of a cool tone one, so I'm keeping those two as well. I think they're really, really pretty. And then we have a couple more here. This one is with a cat hair on it. Hello, kid you not. This one is also a bit orange. This is called Limitless. It's just a little bit of a darker orange, but I still love an orange, so I am keeping that one as well. Now let's swatch these four next to each other so that we can see which ones we need. Let me we'll do it like this actually. See if there's any of these that I feel like I need. I mean this one is like a little lighter so maybe I should go for that because it's more likely that I'm gonna wear it. So I think I'm gonna go with this one that's called Profits. I know that I've used that a couple of times as well. So I'm gonna get rid of these three colors just because I can't keep everything. Sometimes you like want to keep things just because they're nice and because you love the brand and because you love like the formula, but there's no point in keeping things that you're just not going to be using. And it is the same with these Juvia's Place lipsticks. I love the Juvia's Place lipstick formula, but I'm not using all of these. I'm thinking out of these are a little more berry. This one in Frenemy, I've used this actually quite a couple of times because it's almost black on me. It's so cool. Uh, then we have the, hmm, I'm gonna keep one of these berries as well. This one is, these are nice though. Okay, I'm gonna keep one of these more berry tones because it is nice to have. I think I prefer this one. So I'm gonna get rid of, uh, oh damn. And I am gonna keep, this is such a nice like dark, almost black and red. Yeah. I, these are very unique colors though and that's the thing like sometimes you need to keep colors that are like a little bit unique because we do tend to keep the same nudes all over and over again and I'm trying to be better. Then we have the red ones. Let's open up and see. Uh, oh, I really like this one. Oh my lord, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep these two more like true reds, although perfect red. Let me swatch perfect red and a freak next to each other. This is a freak, it's more of a like bright red and this is the perfect red. Yeah, I prefer something that's this color, a little lighter and brighter. So I think I'm gonna save a freak and I saved the dark red. So that's the reason why I'm not saving this. Although this one that's called Rouge is like so pretty. But again, it's a little bit of more on the cool tone side. And I don't use cool toned 
reds on me same this one as well so yeah i am saving a free this one the so red it is so cool like look at this orangey vibrant coral oh okay so i'm saving a freak and so red and i'm getting rid of the other three more reddish ones putting those here and now we have the nudie ones this is where it's going to be hard because i honestly think that this formula is so good Oh boy, this is gonna be hard. Okay, so these are the colors. I think instantly this one that's called Cocoa, like I can get rid of it because it is a little bit too dark for what I would reach for. Uh, we have this Mauve Moment. Oh my God, these are so nice though. I don't go for colors like that very often though. So let's get rid of that. And this one and this one, there are more like, and this one. This is uh, Mademoiselle in Vogue and Lady. I don't think I'm gonna keep this lighter one though because it is like, yeah, it's too light. So I'm getting rid of Mademoiselle. But I love Lady. This is like a yellow toned nude. I have actually used this a bit. So we are saving that one. I also really love this in Vogue. It is like a super nice peachy color and then i think it's this one is it or is it this one that i've used yeah this muted is also a nice like cool toned um cool tone one how is this one then the libra one do i need that kebby is really pretty these are so nice this is cheek maybe this one is too light for me the cheek one so let me get rid of the cheek one and then we have me which is a i know that this is such a nice color and then we have toffee this one is so pretty the toffee one and the last one is hashtag 2020 <sighs> this is so hard am i gonna get rid of the libra one and maybe this one the Kebby. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. Is, I Listen, I'm just literally... What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Listen, I'm just... I'm getting rid of Kebby and I'm saving the others. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. I really like this formula. I like these colors. I'll do a better better time next time. Maybe. Maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll be better next time. Okay, let me organize this a little bit and I'll come back and we can look at the pile that I decluttered um, because it's a lot. And I honestly, like, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> it's even falling here next to me. It's a lot. Okay, so I fished these four ones out again just because I want to count them. But here is the basket. Oh my lord, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. <laughs> it is absolutely filled so we are gonna put some in this one and I'll just put these on the side but I'm counting these four as well and let's see how many I decluttered I'm also gonna put to the side if I have any that's unused um, just because I want to give them away if they're unused but yeah that was four six eight Okay, so these are 90. Let's eat. let's put those to the side. And uh, let's maybe I can put 100 there. Let's let's see if I can find um just these are 6 8 
10. Can I fit these here? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's, let's, okay, wait, okay. Let's see if that will, that will stick and that was a hundred. And then we'll start again. Two, four, six. Okay, there's another hundred. This is crazy because I still have so much left here. See, this, this, this is why. This is why this was needed because <laughs> madness, madness. Okay, I emptied these out so we can put some more in because it's needed. <laughs> Six, eight. Okay, so 71, <laughs> 71 plus all of these like minis. Uh, I don't think that these really count, do they? So yeah, 271 plus a mixed bag of minis. Uh, that is um, a lot, but I also know that I did declutter things that I actually like, but I have to be honest with myself. If I don't reach for them, if I don't use them, it doesn't matter how much I like them if they're just gonna be in the drawer. So I am gonna pick through these now and see which ones are unused because I do have a very good memory, I will say, out of the ones that I've used and out of the ones I haven't used. So I will pick out the ones that haven't been used so that I can give them to someone else. But thank you so much for watching. This was my last declutter of the season. I hope you enjoyed my declutter series. If you missed any of the other parts, I will have the full playlist linked down below. Thank you for being here and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!